It is recording, giant boob hat. I got two stains. Oh my god, there goes our couple's lookbook. <sighs> this is gonna be the new signature. Oh. oh my god, okay, stop eating. Like, stop. You're done for this video. Because you can't, like, just hold the burrito in shame. Because I can't stop. Okay. <laughs> I have to hold his arm. Oh my god. <laughs> Give me the burrito. No. No. I'm confiscating the burrito. So stop it. <laughs> stop just looking at my stains. Stop it. <laughs> Well, this is the start of our anniversary trip, and I think it started with a ball, and I could see it through the, the... I can't have anything nice. I'm not doing anything. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna Just kill yourself to me. It is not funny. <laughs> so yes, we're going to a wonderful faraway land that's three hours away. Even a minute later, <laughs> Jay yeah. took a bite of the plastic covering in his burrito craze. I didn't even craze. realize it. In burrito craze, he <laughs> ate some of the wrapper. <laughs> He's a giant child. We got uh, the sauce to work correctly now. And then the next uh, logical step is to eat the plastic. Shut up. <laughs> Died from boredom. Yeah, look at this. We've been in this traffic for, what, what is this, like 30 minutes at 30, least? and we've gone a mile. We've gone a mile. I've been a counting. Apparently, the Southern California road system decided Saturday morning is the perfect time to do to construction in a two-lane freeway. And other freeways, too, they did. Take the scenic route, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Three hours later. Shut up and sit down. We're literally behind shit. So we're here in the wonderful town of Santa Maria. There we go. Not molesting. No molest. Let's give you the grand tour. So they didn't have our room ready and we sadly have to get two separate beds. Oh darn. Kirsten will like it. I know, I like having my own space. So this is our this is our suite. Our our grand foyer, if you will. Has the classic green sh shade wall mildew. There's also a stain on the mattress, so that's great this lovely little nook. I actually do like this little nook area. Yeah. Like it comes it. with a microwave. And a fridge. And a fridge, so that's not bad. Then through this little doorway, you have, oh, you can see my hair is looking fabulous. <laughs> the sink around the corner is the throne and a clear glass shower. Raise eyebrows now. Ho, ho, ho. And here we see our tired driver in all his pudgy glory. I need a giant spatula to get you off of this thing, don't I? Yeah, it's comfy. We're actually doing something, guys. We're going to a beach yeah. for once. Imagine that, someone going to a beach town and actually going to a beach. Oh, what is that fun. madness? I'm in a bikini top. Yep, first time for everything. <sighs> Wish me luck. Okay, we're going. <gasps> there is a lot of people, and we're going in the sand. Oh, we are oh, going shit. in the sand, guys. Oh god, people are going like really close to the water. Look at that. It's so <laughs> crazy. I never thought I would be this close to ocean in a vehicle in my life. It's so cool and slightly, and more than slightly weird. I'm not gonna lie. This is awkward. <laughs> We're in the trunk of Jay's mom's car. 
So we're still in the be on the beach, covered in sand. Sorry, as Mom. I know. But look at Jay's leg hair. It's like all ripply and nasty. So this is nice. This is the nicest beach, and I think the most fun I've had on a beach ever. It's relatively um, uncrowded. You have the safety of your car like really close. So you have everything you need and you could just just stroll on by. They have a ton of cool rocks and shells if you like to look at those slash borrow them. Mm -hmm. And the water is cool, but not horrible. Not and it's like, like nice freezing. and flat. It's like I can actually get in pretty far because I'm really am not a fan of swimming in the ocean because I feel like I'm gonna die. I almost did die the last time I was in an ocean. <laughs> so I, I didn't feel like I was gonna die this time. That's nice. It's nice and it was only five bucks to get in here. And it's 10 bucks to stay overnight. So that's a pro tip for people that are adventurous. Mm -hmm. My shirt and my bra. Oh, I'm in a bikini top but I kind of cheated because it's a see-through top. And I'm in men's trunks. Men's trunks are the best. They're super comfortable and they have a ton of pockets. Why do you need pockets? If you like holding onto rocks and stuff like me and throw them at, at the ocean because you're a giant child, like why else would you need them? This is, you did a good job researching, babe. Thanks. This was apparently this, a lot of people enjoy this part of the beach more than the actual Pismo beach. Because this is technically just the Pismo Dunes, but people say that it's more freeing because there's more places to park. It's just nicer. Can you like do the same thing at Pismo Beach? Huh? Can you do the same thing with your car at Pismo Beach or no? Like park on the sand? No, I think there's you know, there's either street parking or the very small parking lot to the beach. Oh. It's lame. So it's like a standard park. Yeah. A standard uh. Like beach. like a regular beach yeah that's not cool when you could have this definitely choose this i know like if you have this option why the hell would you do anything else like man if all if all beaches were like this i would go to the beach more i'm just saying and i'm not typically a nature lover if you've ever seen any of my vlogs you know i hate nature it's a general theme of my life and this is a setting where i actually like nature i'm enjoying nature i said it don't get used to it, world, but for now, you're all right with me. Do it. They're coming. They're looking. Do it. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like I'm naked. <laughs> okay. So, wash my new tattoo with a mini water bottle and some body soap from Walmart. <laughs> Don't do what I did and go get a tattoo and then go to the ocean. And expose it not only to sun but to the nasty water. We're gonna go get some animal fries because we're classy and um, we're hungry. Hungry so we're gonna get some super fried, not super fries, animal fries. Animal style fries. Go back to the hotel and wash up. And then get dressed. Get, get dressed and go to a fabulous dinner. Which Probably have, have some alcohol because I want alcohol to celebrate. Dang it! Nipple hurts. <laughs> you know when your <laughs> you know when your nipple rubs and get your wet shirt with sand. They get sensitive. That's when you know you're going through puberty. This line is nothing. No, I am like. We had to just go here for the sheer shortness of this line. Yep. <laughs> we found a live sand dollar. Well, I don't know if the sand dollar itself is live, but that, is. that little barnacle thing. Yeah, and I've never seen this fuzziness on a sand dollar before. So if you guys know anything about that, it's kind of like the texture of the tongue. Yeah. You know, like an unwashed tongue. <laughs> Not that I know what that is or anything, but uh, okay, we're gonna go. What should I do? Throw it or should I just place it? I'll no, just place it. If it's alive, I wouldn't want to be thrown. Okay. Save the sand dollar. Your brother. With your pee. So I'm going to a dance party. We create our own dance party. In a hotel room. 
Don't we look nice? We clean up well, don't we? Yes. We do usually. Mmm. Sometimes. And my short shorts on. Yeah. Yep. We're gonna go eat some no. Yes, it's gonna be amazing. And I got this kimono just for the occasion. Nice, cute place. There's See? Not, there's not a lot of people, which is good because I don't like a lot of people. I think we came at a good time. Probably if we came up five or six, it probably because would have. Because it closes in less than an hour. So this is the three piece. Look at this. Okay, one comparison. Piece. Here, let me hold it up to my face. Yeah. I have a big head. <laughs> a very big head. This is a crack. It's burning my head. It's burning my head. <laughs> oh. 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 That looks really good too. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> and Mel's. Breakfast for dessert. <laughs> dessert for dessert. Dessert for dessert? You're not cool enough to get breakfast for dessert. No, I'm cool. Literally. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> a carnage. Are you still gonna do it? No more. We've been stacking creamers for the past, what, 10 minutes? No. It's fun. So we're back from our late night Denny's escapade, and that was the busiest Denny's I've ever seen at 10 o'clock at night. We had a nice enough lady who was like trying very hard to get us to order more particularly me i literally ordered just a slice of toast uh french toast for two dollars that's because we had a huge 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 um dinner but we wanted dessert and coffee and it was actually cheaper jay got a sunday got two things of coffee and a Sunday, and it was still cheaper than going to the Starbucks down the street. So it was a better deal, and we literally just had to walk less than a block next door. We could see the Denny's from our bathroom window. <laughs> um, but she was trying to do that, obviously, because, you know, more things people buy, the more money you get in tip. But she was nice enough, and I just felt so bad. She had so many huge parties, and it was just chaos in there. So I did end up giving her at least half of our, our check because, you know, I felt bad. You had to wait on us and we had like three things. Um, it was just funny. And I think anyone who could be that funny and personable in the sight of such stress, because if, if I had to serve as many people as she did, I would have just pulled my hair out and said bye. So for that alone, she deserved all the tips. <laughs>